welcome back to one more session for the ME3592 metrology and measurements fourth unit metrology of surfaces my name is P. Navinjas assistant professor department of mechanical engineering Rohini college of engineering and technology now we are going to discuss the topic about surface finish measurement we are going to discuss the topic about the uh, measuring of uh, surface finish of the particular material so here we are frankly discussed about this surface finish measurement during manufacturing of a component there are series of regularly repetitive deviations in the form of a wave with a ratio of pitch of height height these deviations are produced by the trace of an edged cutting tool and plastic flow of the metal during machining. So these fine irregularities, measurement of the overall texture of a surface consisting of three key elements such as lay, waviness and roughness. So here we can see the three terms which is called as lay direction of finish pattern and waviness this is the waviness height and roughness height and also roughness width of the surface so these fine irregularities is called as surface roughness so both the surface roughness and surface finish refer the same concept by the way approach is different to determine the irregularities which are caused by some difficulties when we are using the components it is very important to correct the surface before we use the product so here we are going to discuss about the factors which we are which are affecting the surface roughness of the material so the first one is what piece material, second one vibration, third one machining type and the fourth one is tools and fixers. So first we are going to discuss about the types of surface finish. There are three different types of surface finish. One is nominal surface, rough surface and wavy surface. So nominal surface is a perfect surface. No, nominal surface is nothing but it is a perfect surface. And a rough surface. So here the first one is the nominal surface it's a perfect surface and the second diagram when we are seeing the second diagram it is the rough surface this figure shows the rough surface and uh, we can able to find out the peak of the rough surface and the valley of the rough surface in the in this material so it is seen that the surface has a certain degree of roughness as it is called and uh, it is called as a rough surface the third one is wavy surface a surface having waviness as shown in the figure is called as wavy so uh, as we saw in this figure in this uh, as we saw in this figure the surface is waviness in the surface hence it is called as wavy surface so next one is the irregularity geometrical irregularities can be classified as four different orders one is first order the second one is second order third one is third order and the fourth one is fourth order first order arise when the lack of straight straightness in the guideways of the material a second order arise when there are too much of vibrations in the surface or environment the third order regularities irregularities are arise when we measuring the surface the some deviations are created in the in the workpiece Hence, it is called as 
third order irregularity and the fourth order irregularity uh, is caused because of uh, improper handling of the machines and equipments and uh, elements of surface texture there are diff uh, so many elements of surface texture or texture of that first we are going to see of the surface roughness it is a micro irregularities in the surface resulting from the action of production process a second one is profile it is a shape of any section through a surface and the third one is flaw uh, the flaw is nothing but on the, the uh, surface of the material some cracks or blow holes or scratches which are created hence it is called as flaw and the fourth one is sample or cut off length and uh, this sample or cut off length is created that is nothing but the particular length that is taken for sample measurement on the surface is called as cutoff length so hence it is also known as roughness with cutoff and the fifth one is lay it is the direction of the predominant top surface grooves that are produced by machining and the next one is waviness the next one is waviness it is the surface irregularities which are of greater spacing than roughness hence it is called as a waviness and also it is called as a secondary texture and the next one is datum for surface finish datum for surface finish or we called it as a analysis of surface finish analysis of surface finish so so first we are going to uh, discuss the first thing m system or we call it as a m line mean line system mean line system so here there's a figure is with of irregularities three sample irregularities which we call it as a b c lines also there and uh, the shaded blue areas are uh, blue points are called as a area x and white white uh, areas are called as area y so this mean line is determined determined as a straight line a a is drawn so that is parallel to the general direction of the profile for a length which we call it as l so area x and y are measured here the mean line is a line distance from c from line a to a a where therefore we are going to calculate the capital c value which we call it as a mean line system value S summation of area x minus area y divided by l so by this formula we can able to get the mean line of the product so line bb is parallel to a a in the in this process line bb is parallel to a a and the next one is e system the e system it is called as a envelope system so this uh, envelope line is a line that is obtained by rolling a circle of radius or on the surface this curve is the locus of the center of the circle and uh, the this curve is obtained it is brought down vertically by distance which we call it as r and the next one is analysis of surface finish when the analysis of surface finish three different uh, analysis are happened or conducted average roughness method then peak to value method and from factor form factor method first one is average roughness measurement average roughness measurement in average roughness me measurement three assessment or assum assessments are carried out one is center line average which we call it as a cla index method and the second one is root mean square method root mean square method which we call it as a rms method and the third one is 10 point method so first we are going to discuss about the center line average c value or cla value or index method here in this method the surface roughness is measured as the average deviation from the nominal surface 
The mean line can be drawn along the direction of the surface profile. Then a suitable sampling length L is selected. So here the average height HA is calculated by HA is equal to summation of all area above and below line sampling length. So from this we can able to find out the CLA value. So here the CLA indicated uh, index can be calculated by considering both the horizontal and vertical magnifications by using some of the, some of the formula is HA divided by V into H into 1000 in mu m. And the second one is RMS average method uh, by root mean square average it is the geometrical average of the ordinates of the profile about the mean line the mean line or center line is located such uh, that the sum of the areas above the line is approximately equal to the sum of the areas below the line so the roughness is measured as the average deviation from the nominal surface the heights of the coordinates and end, end measurement are made from the mean line above and below the points of the surface along the sampling length L. So RMS root mean square value is given by some of the formulas which we call the summation of H divided by N. H1 is equal to H1 plus H2 plus H3 divided by N. Then second one is uh, this is the RMS method. The third one is 10 point method. In the 10 point average difference method the average dis difference between phi height peaks and five lowest peaks of the surface is taken and irregularities are calculated. So uh, this 10 point height of uh, irregularity is defined as the difference between uh, five highest peaks and five deepest valleys within the sampling length measured from a, par a line parallel to the mean line and not crossing the profile. The 10 point height of irregularity is calculated by using the formula uh, S2 is equal to or RZ is equal to H1 plus H3 plus H5 plus H7 plus H9 minus H2 plus H4 plus then H6 plus H8 plus H10 divided by 5. So this is the formula to calculate the 10 point height method and then next one is peak to valley height method or maximum it is the distance between the highest peak and lowest value of the considered sample length here l is the sample length and the next one is form factor method it is obtained by measuring the area of material above the arbitrary chosen baseline in the section and the area of the enveloping rectangle so here the formula is degree of fullness is equal to metal area divided by enveloping the rectangle area. So degree of emptiness E1 is equal to 1 minus F. So next one is depth of smoothness which we call it as RU it is a dif distance between the mean line and another line that is parallel to the it drawn such that it touches the highest peak within the considered sampling length. Likewise, the mean depth, it is the distance between the mean line and another line that is parallel to it uh, drawn such that it touches the lowest value within the considered sample link length. And next one is methods of surface finish. The methods we are following in the surface finish. Comparative or qualitative methods and direct measurement or quantitative methods. The comparative or qualitative methods, we are fo uh, following some of the testing techniques we are following. So here there are eight different techniques. Other one is touch inspection, visual inspection, microscopic inspection, scratch inspection, micro interferometer, surface photographs, reflected light intensity and wireless surface dynamometer. The touch inspection is nothing but we are going to touch the particular material with our fingertip and the, and we are going to check the variations in the surface and the next one is in visual inspection method which which we are going to measure or check with the surface with our naked eye 
and microscope in inspection with the help of microscope we are going to check the material and uh, we can able to uh, further process of the material and then, then scratch inspection with a lead plastic rub on surface or inspected by this method the impression of scratches on the surface produced is then visualized then micro interferometer optical flat is placed on the surface to be inspected and illuminated by a monochromatic light source and surface photograph the surfaces which are taken with the help of photograph we can able to inspect on the particular photograph and get the uh, clear knowledge about the work and reflected light intensity a beam of light is projected on the surface to be inspected and the light intensity variation on the surface is measured by a photocell and this mesh value is calibrated so these are the things we discussed uh, in today and uh, so these are the, so so these are the things we discussed today in the further process we can able to continue the next few more topics in this unit thank you